Hey guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile, also known as The Financial Bunny. Welcome to The Financial Bunny TV. I'm really excited to be doing this video because I think, of course, I think my ideas are amazing, but I really think that this idea that I've kind of come up with from watching YouTube videos, by the way, so it's not an original idea. It's something that I have listened to on a YouTube video because as many of you may know, every single morning when I wake up, the first thing that plays on my television is a YouTube video about finance, right? But before I get into all of that, I just want to remind you that none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody who is certified and registered with the FSC. Also, how great is my skin looking? Of course, I need to plug in my faves. It is the a new plumping shot with Protonal technology. Absolutely amazing from Avon. Seven days worth of material or seven days worth of um, plumping shots that are going to get your skin to looking absolutely revolutionary. Of course, I've got makeup on, but makeup gag is on bad skin. Like, let's just be fair. The skin needs to be good for the makeup to pop. Anyway, as I said, I've got a really, really cool idea that I want to kind of like run past you guys and hear what you guys have got to say. I'll give you the steps of how you get involved a little bit at the end of the video. But before I get into that, I have to tell you guys about a trip that I did in 2015. So 2015, I was in love. We were so in love, hey? We even, when we planned our trip to New York, we, we decided, let's go to Bushbuck Ridge and tell my parents that we're going to New York together. And uh, my boyfriend then and I decided, you know what? We're going to be cute. So we got into gray track suits. So he was wearing a gray track suit. I was wearing a gray track suit. You know, if you, we, we were the perfect picture couple, you know, when you looked at us, we were just looking so cute. So we drove all the way to Bushbuck Ridge. Got, uh, before we got to Bushbuck Ridge, we went to Nelspread, bought my mom a TV. So we were set. We were the perfect, like, we were not coming to tell our parents or tell my parents that we're getting married or anything. We just telling them we're going to another country, you know, and I'm going with this person. So in case I get stolen or I get killed, you know who I went with, right? Um, got there and my father was not having it. <laughs> like, he didn't say anything throughout. Um, only at the end, he said to me, Nicolette, why do you bring somebody who comes to my house in pajamas? I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, sir, you are not with it when it comes to fashion. We're cute. We're a couple goals right now. Anyway, so one of the things that we were told to do when we got to New York was go to Woodbury Commons, right? Now, Woodbury Commons is a place, it's like a little mall or shopping center where you can buy high-end fashion accessories and all kinds of things at very cheap or low prices. Cheap, I know people have a very bad connotation with the word cheap, but the reality is that things were so well-priced. So basically, you would book your... Um, at, at Port Authority, you would book a bus ticket that takes you to Woodbury Commons from, um, 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 what's New York, Manhattan. And then you get to Woodbury Commons. So when you get your ticket with the bus, they give you what is called a discount booklet. So in the booklet, it's all the shops that are at Woodbury Commons and they've got a discount. So like 70% discount, 30% discount, 15% discount, right? But when you get into the actual shops at Woodbury Commons, the Items there that you are going to buy already have a discount. I remember coming back to South Africa with like four branded watches and I literally paid 4,000 Rand in South African money. And it was Burberry watches, it was Armani watches, Michael Kors watch. And I think there was two Armani, there was an Armani exchange and Armani, a Michael Kors and a Burberry watch. And I got all of those for 4,000 South African rands. So you can kind of see the type of discounts that you get. Because remember, your discount book has got like 15% and then you walk into the shop and there's like 70%. So together, that's 85% on the actual purchase price of this. And no other shop or no shop is allowed to be at Woodbury Commons if it does not offer these types of discounts. So it's really a cool place to go to. But what I realized about that is that we can actually do a Woodbury Commons in our own life. Now, many people always say to me, Nicolette, I want to pay off debt. I want to go into the snowball method. I want to try it out. But I really, really don't have an extra 1,000 rand in my account. I can't do the snowball method because I can't find this additional money that you guys want me to allocate or pay extra into my first debt, right? Because ultimately, the snowball method is very simple. It says that you list all your, um, your, 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 your outstanding debt in order. You can choose which order you want. I personally would say go for the lowest balance first because the lowest balance kind of gives you a feeling of really winning 
or you can go with the balance that or the one date that gives you the most emo that gives you the most emotional payoff we know we've all got that date you know it may not be the highest date it may not be the highest interest charge date but it's the one that gives you the highest emotional payoff because currently it's the one that's holding you by the neck emotionally the highest right or the, it gives you the worst type of emotions because you are still owing somebody it could be maybe owing a friend it could be owing um a credit card that you know was a bad idea for you to take because you took that credit card to buy a boyfriend a, a, a valentine's day gift and then two days later that nigga cheated or it could be because you took a loan to take a girl out on a holiday for whatever reasons and now this babe is acting up on you so it's one of those loans or debts that it really has a high emotional attachment to it so you could list your debts like that or you could list them by the highest interest rate charge which is the most expensive debt that you've got initially essentially if your debt is really uh, uh, charged on a high interest rate it makes it the most expensive debt that you've got or you could use the, the 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 index and you could ultimately find out which of your dates are actually um, um, efficient debt and which is your date that is not efficient date and you want to pay off the non-efficient date first right so whichever the uh, strategy you choose in terms of using the snowball method it's entirely up to you and the type of person that you are your personality and what really motivates you right um and then what you do is after you've listed those dates you will then have to find an additional amount of money in your budget that you can pay extra on that uh, date that you want to start with so if you let's say for instance want to start off with paying uh, the debt that you owe your friend you would need to go and find an additional amount of money once you have paid off that date we then say the amount that you are allocating monthly for that specific date plus this extra that you have found you now pay into your next date let's say maybe it's your credit card that you want to pay off next so you use that money once you pay and close off the credit card you use the monthly installment of the credit card the money that you were using to pay your friend every month and the additional amount of money that you found to now pay off the next thing and pay extra into it it could be maybe your car so that's essentially what happens but i know a lot of people get stuck at where do i find this extra 1000 rand that i must use to start off the snowball method right so i've decided you know what let's do a big yard sale now of course we're in corona so doing a yard sale is a little bit difficult but also yard sales are very restrictive in terms of location right but we've got the internet my friends we have the internet so let's do a big internet yard sale i want to call it a yard sale that basically pays off your debt or starts off a snowball method why do i say this the reality is that a lot of us and hear me when i say a lot of us right a lot of us have things in our homes we don't need we don't use and they could be used somewhere else by somebody else and that person is probably willing to pay for those things Okay, so remember when I say to you, do the bank statement exercise and I say to you, take your bank statement, get your highlighters, be cute and all and highlight all the things that you are paying for. One, you highlight your contractual debt. Next, you highlight the debt that you really need to pay because of your living expenses. And then you highlight the frivolous debt. And that's the debt that I mean, the, friv the, the, the expenses that are frivolous. And those are the expenses where you can find your additional money. Or sometimes I say cut on the takeaways. Sometimes I say cut on the, uh, the airtime. Now, I've come to the conclusion that that is difficult, okay? This reduction method that we keep using on people to say, cut, 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 cut. No, let's not cut. Let's go find money there where you've already spent, but you are not using the things. So I know for a fact, like for instance, I have things in my house and I'm going to show you guys around things that I know that I do not use. It may be weight loss medication because remember we spoke about weight loss and how some of us are using, we bought pills and supplements and all sorts of things that maybe somebody else wants to give it a shot. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not here encouraging it, but somebody wants to give it a shot and I've already got it. You can buy it from me at a cheaper price than you would buy it at retail, right? I may have books that I don't really want to keep anymore. I, you see... Not all of us are book lovers. Some of us buy books. Some of us get gifted books. And the reality is that, hey, I've read the book already. I really don't want to keep it. I don't even have a cute bookshelf. So why am I keeping this book? I will sell it to you, my friend. So what I want to do is I want to help you sell your things 
and be able to get that money and start your snowball method. Or you can use the money for whatever you want to use it, really. I'm not going to hold you hostage. I would ideally want you to pay off a debt with the money that you get from whatever it is that you are selling. Because let's be honest, some of our debts are not that huge. Some of our debts are like a clothing account that has got a balance of like 1.5. And because the bank says, or the, the, re, the, the clothing account shop says, you got to pay only 300, you stick to paying 300 every month. And then this thing just goes on and on and on for like 12 months. 12 months down the line, you still owe it gas. I mean, really? No, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can pay off that debt today if you just sell some things in your house that you don't need. Teapot sets. You know how many people buy me teapot sets? And I don't even drink tea. I mean, I drink tea once in a while, but let's be honest, I don't drink tea that often. And the next time I want to drink tea, please, man, the person who's visiting me must bring their own teapot set, right? So it's things like teapots, things like pots that you don't use. I mean, I really should be selling my pots because I don't even cook. Then there's clothes, clothes that you've bought, clothes that you've loved, clothes that you've worn, but you can't wear. You know that dress that you really can't wear again because social media will be there putting you. I mean, you may wear it six months apart, but they will still find the two pictures of you wearing the same dress and say, is this the only dress she's got? Ah, ah. But there, like I said, I mean, all I'm saying is that there are many things that you can sell in your house. And I always use the rule of if it's been more than three months and you have not used that thing, of course, unless it's things that you use seasonally. But if it's been more than three months, like, let's be fair, if your boyfriend or your girlfriend does not take you for three months, are they still your boyfriend or your girlfriend? No, they're not. Cut the attachment. That's not your boyfriend, darling. That's somebody who is part-timing but like diploma type of part-timing you know let go of that that person so also it's time for you to let go of some of the things in your house and unlike a boyfriend or a girlfriend there's no benefit to you letting them go here you may just find a benefit you may be able to pay down a debt that's been giving you so much stress so, yes, how are we going to do this? We have an e-commerce shop already set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to assist you, right? You are going to fill in a Google document. On the Google document, you're going to tell us what is the description of what it is that you want to sell, what is the price. Remember, you cannot be emotionally attached to this thing anymore. You've got to let it go. So you can't want to sell it at the price at which you bought it. It just does not work. You can even send videos if you want to send videos explaining your thing. I don't care. Just give me a description of what it is that you want to sell. What is the price of it? And please send pictures. Nice pictures. Not surveillance pictures. Not like pictures that somebody took because they didn't care. You want this thing to be sold, so send us some nice pictures. And then you've got to make sure that it gets delivered to us. We've got to get it delivered to our office in Mill Park. We've got to make sure it gets delivered. So you've got to bring it to us so that we can make sure that when it gets bought, it can get shipped immediately. So we will do all the shipping for you, sending it to whoever it is that we need to be sending to. Unfortunately, it has to be in South Africa because, you know, most unfortunately, you know, these kind of things happen. So we will factor in the delivery for you, but you need to give us a price that is fair for the person to buy. We will do all the transactional and negotiating of how to make sure that you get your price and we get this thing sent off. If your thing is too high priced, it's not going to get bought. You're, you're not uh, doing... It's not a rule to us. Sinas Nandaba. We want you to get your money. We want you to we want to sell your things. So that's how we're going to do it. The big sale is going to go and start off on the 26th of March. So when this video drops, that is when you can start sending us your pictures, sending us the things that you want to sell. We will make sure that if you don't send good pictures, but you do get your thing delivered in time, we may be able to photograph it and actually attach a nice picture to your item so yeah guys let's do this i think it's really going to be cool i think it's really exciting um and for me it's really cool because it's money that you can get back that you could otherwise have not gotten back because the thing is sitting in your house i want to show you guys some things that i definitely think i need to sell because wow wow ma'am wow cc anyway mwah.